Hello guys, welcome to the second tutorial of my BGE landscape series. In this video I will show you how I added in all the foliage models into my landscape. So let's get started. Last time we left off with the finished Torah model, which we will now fill with grass and trees. But before we can actually start, we need to have some foliage models that we can use. I have prepared mine on another layer. By the way, these models are from Oliver MH on Blendswap and I really love them because they are amazing to use in game engine scenes, so go and check them out. The next step is to group our objects. We can simply do that by pressing Ctrl G. Note that I am creating a different group for every foliage part. So one for the grass, one for the stones and so on. You will soon see why I am doing this. After creating your groups and naming them properly, we can now go back to our landscape and add a new particle system to it. Be sure that you are in Blender Render Mode, otherwise you won't be able to create a particle system. Change the type to Hair and under the Render Settings change it to Group. Then select a group which contains the grass. And BAM! There you have it! Your whole landscape is now covered with grass. You can now adjust the size of it and use particle si settings to make it look more random. I also like to change the emission type from Jitted to Random. You can access that by clicking on the advanced button. This way the grass gets emitted more natural on your landscape. When you've finished your adjustments, go to the modifiers tab and press convert. What that will do is, it will create a single object out of every particle. And that is actually all we need to use it in the Blender game engine. You can then delete the particle system since you don't need it anymore. Now you can move it to another layer by pressing M and finally move back the landscape so you have only the grass left. Another cool thing is that all of the grass objects are now instances of each other, which means that you are able to change one of your grass models and it will automatically change all of the others. So I think I'll end this tutorial here, next time I show you one more way to add in the foliage concerning the stones and trees. Please check out the other videos on my channel and if you're interested in future videos, help me by subscribing and see you next time.